today it's my morning skincare routine. I thought I'd film in the bedroom because the light's so much better. I've done absolutely nothing to my face except cleanse. And the cleanser I'm using in the morning currently is the Glossier. It's the Milky Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. Um, I've used quite a lot of it. I've tend to sort of use this since I bought it. I like it, it's okay, it cleans my face, it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or tight or uncomfortable. Um, it's my least favourite probably from Glossier, it's not anything outstanding. I would probably buy it again just because it's easy to use um, and my skin doesn't mind it. I do have the Oski Renaissance Cleansing Gel to start which I particularly like because it's a little bit more conditioning on my skin but this is okay and yeah it fits into my morning routine very nicely. So I've got a few things to share with you. I'm not putting them all on at once, but these are generally what's been fitted into my skincare routine for the morning. Um, a facial mist. If I'm using a glycolic toner, I do tend to use it on an evening, maybe twice a week, three times a week. Depends what my skin's like, so I don't use it during the day. Um, my facial mist of choice this week, I do rotate them, is Pixie Skin Treats, and it's the Glow Mist. This has propolis and argan oil, and it's a nourishing mist. You shake it, and I like it because you get a really nice sort of residue on the face, a dewy finish. lovely smells very nice as well sort of herby fresh zesty and I do like to just help it on its way by just pressing it into my skin so that's on the face other choices now as soon as it starts to get very cold and we're getting I think north the wind's blowing from the north, so it's blowing straight at us. It's exceptionally cold, which generally we're a little bit warmer down south. But we've got the heating on, that's how cold it is. So I'm putting oils on my face morning and evening. I'm also using serums and moisturisers. So, um, the oils I'm using, I only have one currently that I'm using, which is the Mono, and that's the Soothing Hawaii Facial Oil. It is for combination skin. Um, I love it because it's very gentle, it's very calming, it has lavender, and it just gives a really nice finish to my skin. I get a nice dewiness, and my skin always looks better when I use face oils you know I love them and this is a particular favorite so that's what I'm currently using as far as sort of serums go I have two that are really good for sort of dehydrated skin and I do get areas every now and again no matter how good my skincare is you know central heating diet fluid intake, all those kind of things can really play havoc. So I've got the Clarins Double Serum, which I really like. I like the texture of it, you don't need a lot, and it's a great product morning or evening. And then I've got a new um, bottle of the Vichy um, Thermal Serum, which I had before, and I really saw a difference to my skin. It was just in great condition. So either of those can go on on a morning. Generally, I apply them after my oil. And then for moisturiser, I'm either using the Jane Scrivener Skin Elixir, which is basically a facial oil. It's so beautiful and rich. Or the Glossier Priming Moisturiser, which is in the rich format. Both of them are exquisite for giving hydration to the skin. Amazing products. I love them. And I'm also popping on a little bit of the GlossierBalm.com. This is the original, no colour, no scent, no flavour to it, but it's so good even before I start to put makeup on to prep my lips. Especially now as I'm wearing a lot of lip liner just on its own on my lips, so they really need to be well looked after. So, I'm going to pop on a little of the Monu facial oil, just a little bit, and I'm actually going to apply it straight onto my face. I'm just going to blend that into the face. Now, you can obviously, 
I'm not teaching the granny to suck eggs. Um, you can just apply it in your fingers if you prefer, palm of your hands also because it warms the oil and it's nice to blend it that way. I'm always conscious, I suppose, of wasting product, but you can also blend it into your hands as well. So any excess um, product, I always work into my hand and anything oily, I like to put all around my nail beds and really work it into my nails. So really pressing the oil in and uh, if I have time on the morning, I like to just take my time with my skincare. So I'm trying not to sort of throw layer after layer. I like things to have time to work into the skin. If I haven't, then I do tend to like to push my product into my skin. Even though I do that generally anyway, I just like to have it helped on its way. But this is so lovely. So after my oil, I am going to put a little bit of the serum on as well. Really depends on your skin. I've just felt that my skin's needed that little bit of help. I'm going to use one pump and I'm going to use that just from my fingers and just rubbing it on my fingertips. And again, just pressing it onto the face. You could use a very tiny little pump amount and apply it to the area that you feel you need it the most. But I just like to really layer my skincare up. So that's the oil and the serum. A few minutes on my skin. While I'm giving them a few minutes, I'm just going to put a little bit of the balm on. Small amount. You don't need a lot. It's quite a thick balm. So then I have two choices. I'm going to use the Glossier. Um, I love this. I think it's an absolutely stunning cream. Really works on my skin. Just going to put a little bit couple of dots on the face. What I should do, the proper way, uh, all my training with Yves Saint Laurent, they'd be cringing. I should actually be using a spatula, which is the hygienic way to use your skincare. Um, even though it's only my digits that are going in the pot, it is far more hygienic to use a spatula. Um, I know some people use cotton wool buds, but I don't like them because you get little bits of residue in your cream um never never quite liked that method but uh, i have in the past i think when i worked on counter and i was obviously doing makeup as a makeup artist um you're sort of in that habit so it's just a matter of you don't think about it you get the spatula you do the skincare and everything um, and I think that's probably why a lot of the time when I'm applying colour still, even to my own face, I put a lot of it on the back of my hand and work from the back of my hand. Um, the other thing as well is brushes. When you watch people doing tutorials and they blow on the brush, and that's a huge no-no when you work on counter because of hygiene. Again, you tap the brush. Um, but it's sort of a telltale sign of people who've maybe trained in beauty and those that haven't as to whether they blow their germs all over their makeup brushes your makeup brushes just your face doesn't matter but when you're on counter and you've got lots of different faces coming in even though you obviously clean your brushes between every use you don't blow your germs all over your makeup brushes but it's funny how you sort of get out of habit sometimes and uh Yes, I just stick my digits in my skincare. So that's nicely on the skin. Um, if I'm going out, I still put SPF on. This doesn't actually have SPF in, so I would put a separate SPF on. I use it all year round because you still get UVA. And UVB, even on the greyest, cloudiest, stormiest day, it's still there. Um, so I still use it. Also, I want to apologise for my grotty hair. It's just... I wanted it out of the way to put my skincare on. I know it doesn't look great. Right, a tale to tell. I'm very sad about this. However, I can't remember when I got this. You may remember, it'll be in the video, but it has been quite a long time. And I've been using it and stopping it and using it and stopping it and really desperately wanting this to be not true, but it is. Um, I love the product. I love the scent of it. I love the consistency of it. And the first two or three days, my skin looks better for using it. But I'm sure I did mention, because it has rose hip as an ingredient, I can be very touch and go with rose hip. Um, it started with Trilogy 
when everybody was buying when trilogy first launched and it was all about the rosehip oil and i thought great and i bought it and my skin was just red and inflamed and spotty and i tried other rosehip products and had similar reactions not as aggressive as that one so i realized that rosehip was not a great product always for me um, but it depends on the blend and I've had others where it's not been a problem this is um, La Belle Lune which is an organic skincare company you'll have seen it featured on a lot of videos it gets rave reviews and so it should the packaging the product the ingredients are amazing um, it's a nighttime oil which I love my night oils and the first two or three days two or three nights yes fine by the fourth or fifth night it starts um, usually by morning that's when I see it my forehead is just tiny little pimples spots they don't come to a head they're just there under the surface but literally right across my forehead and then they start to appear around my mouth and I get them here and if I continue using it, they just get more obvious and they start to look a little bit angry. Stop using it. I immediately go in with calming masks. The Shanti Kai is wondrous. I sleep in it and the next day everything's sort of calmed. It's still there, but it's calmed. And this has been going on for months. Um, I've stopped and started, thought it might be something else. But every time I put this back in my skincare routine and use it for two or three nights, forehead, here, they're just going actually. I don't know if you can see there, there, and I don't know if it's going to show up enough on camera on my forehead, but uh, I've had the little pimples. So I think it's time to be sensible. I knew actually, the first time I used it and it happened, I thought, no, but I was so determined because it's such a lovely product and sometimes it's just a stumbling block and your skin will actually sort of go, oh, what's this? Oh, okay, it's fine. And after a few nights or a few days, you think, oh, actually, it's okay. My skin quite likes it. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to pass this on maybe to somebody else. There's still quite a lot left because you don't need a lot, but I'm really sad, very, very sad about it. Just me my skin i've recently got the votary night oil which has rose hip and fingers crossed <laughs> we'll see i'm i'm going to be really annoyed um but this sadly is well it's got to go and that's my daytime routine for my skincare so we're heading into december I will probably change it as we get into maybe the first or second week of December. It's obviously going to get a little bit colder. Dietary wise, you know, the crackers, the cheese and the pickle is looming. I'm not a drinker, but I will have the odd glass of Prosecco to be, you know, friendly. You know, when the neighbours invite you round and everybody's there clinking wine glasses and I'm there with a mug of coffee doesn't always fit so there will be a little bit of alcohol consumed generally my skin's pretty good um, but my diet isn't fantastic it's not terrible but it's not fantastic but my fluid intake is not great so I do need to really think about that because I think a lot of that's the reason why I do sometimes get my dehydrated areas on my skin I'm certainly giving it enough lovely skincare so I need to think about what's going inside as well as what I'm putting on outside so I will be sort of maybe adding a few more bits um, to my routine as it gets a little bit colder and as I say the festive season is upon us so there'll be another video hopefully I'll get another skincare video out for you I know you all love to see what I'm using and I know the evening ones are always you're always interested in even though it tends to be the same cleansers and things all the time but I'll be back soon with another video thanks for watching everybody and I hope you're all well bye for now mm -hmm.